It was a terrifying ordeal for a teenage girl who was pushed onto an elevated subway track in Woodhaven, Queens, just hours before her prom. CBS 2's Natalie Dudrid spoke to her today about the assault that police say was random. And when she pushed me, I felt like that. 18 year old Sarah Arias describes the moment she says a woman shoved her onto the train tracks at the 75th Street Elders Lane platform Monday at 10 30 a.m. It didn't feel real. I just, I just, I, I remember I fell. And I remember I, I was on the floor and then I saw the train coming ahead because it was approaching the platform. She says she fell onto her hands and knees and showed us her scrapes and bruises. Adrenaline kicked in and she was able to hoist herself up onto the platform as witnesses checked to see if she was okay. It was about two people around me and they were just in shock, to be honest. They were just like, oh my God. This is an elevated subway track. Aria says if she would have been pushed even a little harder, she could have fallen through the tracks to the ground below. If I would have fell in a different spot, I could have been in the street. So the fact that she's here today, I'm so grateful. Her mother rushed to the train station, getting there moments after police, but the 26-year-old suspect had already gotten away. A short time later, investigators caught up with her and took her into custody. She should be getting the mental help she needs. So that she... <laughs> Look out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Mm. Yeah. This, this, this bitch almost killed your daughter, and that's the best you got. Go ahead, Ray Wall. That's crazy, man. She can't say anything else, though, especially if it's a sun woman. Oh, uh, <laughs> if, if you said if it's a sun woman, if. Uh... Mm, that's a that's a bold statement. Kind. Of. When was the last time you seen a, a a woman? Now we have seen on burrito men push um people on the tracks, but when was the last time you seen a woman that's not a son push somebody on the tracks? No, I'm serious. I mean, maybe because I I, I want to do that story. I want to see the Karen <laughs> that push somebody on the tracks. <laughs> Do that story. She might make you want to jump on the tracks in your own volition, but not push it. And even yeah. if it was, and even if it was an umbrito man, right? Like, what are the odds? If we we're talking about odds, right? But I, even in the even like in in the public in the public way, right? You gotta you gotta be around like how how black say y'all, like you in the fucking joint. Like you, you gotta watch your bag twenty four seven. Yeah, man. What's up, Osa? Hey, peace. What's good? What's good, man? Yeah. What's up, brother? I seen y'all was just talking about the uh, the PG joint, the funeral joint. I oh really, yeah. I couldn't keep up with that story, but that joint is wild. Yeah, this is crazy though. What, so did they show the picture of the um the woman who did this? Yeah, I'm gonna get to that in a minute, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> she should be getting the mental help she needs so that she can be better and if she's not capable of being in in society then she should be kept put away the assault happened as arias was heading home from school early to get ready for her prom that night despite being shaken up she still made it i need to get ready for prom that's all she was hoping. that girl still went to the prom think about you at the prom and you bitching about something this woman bit <laughs> and she shows up and you're like man um my dress, the, my, I put the cleaners and I had to wait 15 minutes in line to get my dress. And she's like, yeah, I got pushed on the tracks by some fucking eight woman. As the train approached. <laughs> right, as while the train was and, I, and, and if I didn't hop up in time, climb back on the platform, I'd have been fucking roadkill. Right. Despite being shaken up, she still made it. I need to get ready for prom. That's all she was focused on. When she graduates, she plans to study law enforcement, hoping to one day become a detective. I'm going to John Jay, hopefully. I don't know if that's good, though. But her, if her politics are anything like her mom, mm. I don't want her involved in criminal justice. <laughs> no bullshit. You know, because she's going to be compassionate and shit, man. I don't want no compassionate. Mm -hmm. We got enough compassionate people. <laughs> That's it's a new day. I that's what they want from police nowadays, from what I understand. Anyway, yeah. bring back, bring back dad slavery, man. <laughs> bring back the same case. Jim Crow yeah. life. Yeah, and I'm not talking about across the board. I'm talking about like 
Man, I don't give a fuck about jail, man. Shit, I'll go do that time, nigga. Fuck that. I'll smoke your ass and do the time, bitch, nigga. What's up? Like, those type niggas, bring it back, man. Shooting the people, shooting in the cars, the families in it on the fucking highway. Nah, man. Send them niggas. Had them pick, make them niggas go pick cotton, man. Right. No of course, Nick hoping to one day become a detective. Mm. I'm going to John Jay, hopefully criminal justice, make things right. Now she has a new perspective and firsthand experience with crime in the city and says from now on, she'll avoid taking the train. Mm. In Queens, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. I don't blame her. Think about, think about, I remember I got jumped at um, Shaw Howard University um, Station. I talked about this back in like 1992, right? And I mean... I, I think I talked about this with my, my boy. They really got after my boy, and he ran, and I just stood there like an idiot, and they came over and jumped me. Oh, so, shit. yeah. So, we, so and it happened, like, right when we got to the top of the elevator right there, um, escalator. So, it was like, after oh, that, like, man. No, nah, that's the one. That's the one. Um, no, nah, that, that station lets out. The other one that lets out on on, on Shaw side on the um, oh on the Shaw East, side yeah, yeah on okay. the on the um A Street on A yeah. Street yeah by Rhode Island Avenue a little bit but um yeah um but after that man I think it was fourteen years old after that man I would have tremors man getting onto the fucking subway man not not to get on the subway but getting off of the subway so when I would get on the subway at school. I'd be fine. When I get on the subway in the morning, I'd be fine. But when I got off in the evenings, I was, as the elevator would get to the top, my heart would stop beating. I'd start getting the bubble guts and shit. And I'd just be like, when I got to the top, I'd just be looking around. And, be, and it wasn't yeah. never nobody there because those guys was there to jump my friend. But at that time, you think, Every day they gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> it's like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it took me a while, man. It took me like a year before I was fucking. Um, that shit didn't happen, man. I was so I mean I I can imagine what this girl's going through having me pushed on the fucking tracks. Hey, hopefully criminal justice make things right. Now she has a new perspective and firsthand experience with crime in the city, and says from now on she'll avoid taking the train. In Queens, Natalie Dudridge, CBS News. Yeah, that's the only news. thing she'll avoid. Turns I wager. Out charges against a suspect are still pending. Another person was pushed onto subway tracks this morning. This one in the Bronx happened on the D train platform at the 174th, 75th Street station in. No, listen, man. I bet there's glider countries where they go years without anyone being pushed on the train. I bet in Iceland nobody's been pushed on the fucking tracks in 20 years. Yeah, probably. Now, UK probably not because they have us in 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 South Asians over there. But anywhere a homogeneous glider country, I'm sure that this is a rare event. It wouldn't happen every day like it does in New York. Hell no, <laughs> hell no, just, no. It would be a thing like you couldn't even breeze past it because it would just be so atrocious and rare. Yeah, you would have to do. They would do a documentary about it. That <laughs> time that person right. pushed on the train. It's like shit. The train platform at the 174th, 75th Street station in Mount Eden. Police telling CBS two a man was intoxicated, got into a fight, and ended up on the tracks. Investigators say fellow passengers helped to pull him up, while the other man involved ran away. The 42-year-old who fell was taken to the hospital, listed as stable tonight. Police are still searching for that second man. Shamika Wise. Shamika Wise. 26 year old. Huh? Is that a face tat? Yeah, man. It look like, I don't know. It don't look like Africa. It look like maybe I don't know what the fuck that is, man. Maybe it's Manhattan. I don't know. But, yeah, damn. Salute to Judah 2523. No solutions. Alex. Says wicked. How about an app that GPS the Sun Man app will turn yellow 
when it detects one sun man ray when it detects a sister our better gps will tell you to turn right 50 feet <laughs> yo I, I like that like the uh the motion detector from alien uh, <laughs> oh man be like it's fuck he's in the vents <laughs> I mean, it's getting there, man. You, I would have thought you would think that that's not plausible, but let's just say they don't. They take the same approach towards this epidemic we're, we're in right now. But let's say they take the same approach for the next seven years. So it's twenty thirty, and they're still talking about you know the same shit her mom was talking about, you know, coddling and cuddling the criminals. Oh my God! Imagine how bad I, I, it could be by twenty thirty. That's a long, that's a stretch. You think this this could go on for that long? Well, here's the thing, though, man. Um, This is, you guys think that, I don't know why you think this, but you guys think that somehow, like, the Republicans are going to win the election, right? I'm here to that's tell cool. you, man, I've been telling you, man, they can't fight dirty, man. They're too nice, man. And they're not as invested. They really don't care like that, man. They all they care about themselves. They don't care about forcing their agenda on people like the um liberal whites do. Democrats. Yeah, the liberal whites force they they want you to they'll they'll scratch your eyes out, they'll fucking flatten your tires. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'll Real fucking lot. call, they'll spread rumors about you behind your back, they'll call um the fucking um, cops on you and shit. They'll call your fucking landlord and tell them you're fucking smoking weed, try to get you put out your apartment and shit. Yeah, they'll put your address on the internet. Yeah, conservative gliders are like, I mean, the facts say that. Uh, nah, man, <laughs> fuck a fact, man. A, a fact? You think liberals give a fuck about some fucking fact or study or research or... They don't give a fuck. They just do what it takes to win. I don't think that. I think that. I don't think you can win. I don't think. Um. I think the Democrats are gonna win in um 2024. So that's another four years. So we're up to 2028. So then you just need two more years. So even if a Republican, even if there's a backlash in 2028 where they just elect a Republican just because, you know what I'm saying? Like the backlash yeah. is so strong. Yeah. In two years, what could what that guy gonna do in the first two years? Because you know, if 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 the, if the Republicans win the presidency, they're gonna lose the House and they're gonna lose the con the Senate. Yeah. So he gonna be he not gonna be able to get nothing done. So then there you are, twenty thirty into the midterms, and then maybe they win the fucking House and the Senate in the midterms in twenty thirty, and then there you could have some change maybe. But I'm looking at yeah, maybe twenty thirty. This this may go on till twenty thirty, man. Yikes. <laughs> because <laughs> remember remember four years like once they elect the president it's over for four years it's just like with chicago like they're seeing all this shit this new sun man mayor's done in this first week and it's like yo you got four years of this shit like yeah. you know what I'm saying like it's it's it, it, you it's it's four years you have a president ever not done his whole like it's going so like if you lose this next election, though, it's 2028 at least until you get until you get back in. And that's oh. just crime. I mean, and this is particularly like as it relates to crime, right? You don't think it's possible? Maybe what if the Democrats stay in, but like they get serious about crime, this crime shit? I think nah, no way. Crime to them means something different, though. Like you know what I'm saying? Like when they talk about getting serious, they're talking about like that girl's mother, like. Yo, hey, um, if you if you if you if if you if you're not gonna be a productive citizen in society, then we're gonna have to um find some mental health for you. We're gonna get you some mental health if you don't shape up. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you a social worker, the goddamn therapist. We don't get the shit together. If you keep Damn. pushing people on the train, um, you're gonna have to fucking report to a social worker two times a week and see a therapist once a month. So you better get yourself together. That's what tough on ground means. <laughs> Damn. You don't think they get they gonna get tired of getting fucked up? They getting fucked up, like yeah. But power comes with that. Their power lies liberal. We're part of their base. Sons are part of their base. 
So they'll put up with it as part of their base. It's just like <laughs> no. how, but you know how Republicans, they put up with those, that small faction of really racist whites, which yeah. is really small. I mean, it's right. infinitesimal. Right. But they put up with them because it's like, look, man, they're part of our base. Democrats put up this huge swath of fucking degenerate fucking eight people that fucking have no fucking that you know what I'm saying like no nah, seriously man like are you watching the show man where you been the last hour man yeah, I'm watching man I'm these here. are eight people man these are not humans man look this oh, one oh girl this needs one. to get a get uh, a degree in big game hunting rather than criminal justice you can shoot these silverbacks bro she pushed this girl onto the fucking tracks as the train was coming yeah, that's why. Right. And it goes, it goes back to, you know, mental health. I, we always say this, but it goes back to the fact that she knows who to target. Yeah, she, she she's that. She has, she has that intellect in her to be able to know who to target. So she ain't that crazy. Yeah. 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 Dude. It's just, it's just, um, it's just, listen, man, um, and the story is even more crazy. So the story is ridiculous, man. Um, uh, let me, let me, let me pull her up. Let me put her on front street, man. This fucking goddamn she boom. Um, but the story is, the story goes, damn, man, Jesus Christ, you know, these people are fucking sick. Um, the story goes, a New York high schooler who was shoved onto the Queen's subway tracks by a homeless woman was headed to her, get her hair done for the prom when she was pushed, but said Tuesday, even the terrifying sudden attack wasn't going to make her miss the big dance. Okay. Um, Sarah Arias, 18, was shoved off the platform at the 75th Street Elders Lane, Jay-Z, station in Woodhaven Monday at 10.30 a.m. This happened at 10.30 a.m. by a woman who had been arguing with a man at the above ground station. It didn't feel real. I was flying through the air, Arias told the Post from her Brooklyn home. I, it just felt fake. The senior at Cypress Hills College Preparatory School had been hurrying to get her hair done in the morning of the prom when she encountered the alleged attacker, 26-year-old Shamika Wise. The man Wise had been arguing with allegedly threatened Arius. So the man who was this woman, this homeless woman was arguing with had threatened the Ombrita the, the 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 already. When the argument ended, Arius said she tried to move past Wise who pushed her just as the train was pulling into the station. So you got this, I, I imagine you have this homeless couple or this homeless, two homeless sons, and they're arguing and talking shit to each other. She walks past, and you know how they go, motherfucker, fuck you, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, says something to her, and then yep. she, she tries to keep going, and then the girl, like, sees her man gave this girl some attention, and this girl got good hair, and she's pretty. And this that jealousy probably kicked in, and she just pushed her on the tracks. Facts, probably hair is the uh, the root of this issue. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it was really that simple, man. It just was that quick, man. Um, she just uh, uh, fr uh, 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 just she crossed paths with them. Um, it's the fucking blissful irony of. <laughs> Michelle saying that you know we hate y'all because you have hair texture when it's like completely the fucking opposite. Yeah, man. Um, right. Exactly, and that's an important thing he just said too. Yeah. Just one of many. Yeah. Salute to Murray Moss. He says, "Yo, Ock, most countries have train door platforms. NYC in the U.S. is too backwards." Yeah, but we're a big country. Like, it, it would be hard to those train doors that he's talking about that they have um, in those other countries to install those across the United States is different than installing it across a country where you got 
couple million people, man. This will soon look more like those in London and Paris, thanks to a major safety overhaul. Screen doors are being rolled out in the Metro Tunnel, designed to keep passengers safer and trains on time. The daily commute will soon look a little different and feel a lot safer, with platform screen doors taking shape at five new stations around Melbourne. The sliding transparent doors are designed to stop commuters in their tracks, helping prevent dangerous and terrifying near misses like this. Internationally, they're, they're just the go-to for the metro systems. 300 will be installed as part of the Metro Tunnel project. Stretching from Arden to Anzac, it will allow commuters to... And look at what, they were try what they're trying to stop. <laughs> like yeah, they're protecting did. the wayward baby or two, you know. <laughs> this woman's not paying attention to the stroller just fucking... <laughs> Some man to push the baby in there himself. Safely stand against the panels and help trains run on time by avoiding incidents. The new technology has already been trialled at a test platform in Pakenham East and rolled out at major cities around the world, including Paris and London. The state government says there are plans to eventually install the sliding doors along the suburban rail loop as well, but we won't be seeing them on the city loop anytime soon. Okay, so that's what they're talking about. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be millions and millions. Of, they got to put cameras and all the other type of safety measures. They got to put a bunch of cops down there. They don't have money left over for shit like that, man, in such a huge country, 